Jack That Vegan Dad. I've just left Sydney Airport. Um, I'm gonna do a little rundown of some of the eateries that I'm eating in Sydney. Sydney is a great place, a lot of hidden gems. So I'm gonna show you a few of them now. First off, I'm actually gonna go check out vegan fried chicken. So stay tuned and have fun. I just ordered um, some bits and pieces from vegan fried chicken. It was pretty packed inside, so that's a good sense um, that it's going well. If you guys aren't aware of about vegan fried chicken, they were selling their goods at a lot of vegan markets uh, previously, and they've actually only just recently set up a shop in Newtown in Sydney. And it, from what I've heard, it's gone really, really good for them. I mean, it was a busy shop. It was full. People were coming in, ordering stuff. And, like, you got the likes of Lord of the Fries, uh, Soul Burger, right near them as well. So, like, they got pretty stiff competition nearby, but they're still doing well. Um, if you're not in the know about Sydney, Newtown is kind of like the hip sort of area to be for vegans i mean the street is packed with restaurants as it is but a lot of them are vegan friendly i mean you got pizza shops you got burger shops uh asian you know all sorts of different variety if you're looking for a feed if you're vegan i mean it's always hustling and bustling i'm here on a sunday night and it's currently about six o'clock and you know it is packed the street hard to find a park so you know it's kind of the equivalent of uh fitzroy in melbourne uh as being a kind of vegan haven um per se but there are a lot of great options so if you do come into sydney so i've just tried out vegan fried chicken tonight from newtown um, i'm gonna actually go to a couple of different places around sydney to show you rather than just it all being newtown otherwise it would be a new town vegan food guide but um you know yeah if you're going into sydney and you've only got one place to go newtown is probably your best option all right i'll just get into it quickly and show you the bits and pieces so that is the popcorn chicken a uh, bit of a sticky glaze on it and the taste is spot on so yeah it's a it's a soy soy based kind of chicken uh well, chicken pieces so kind of taking off uh kfc but offering a lot of the similar sort of items there i'll just show you the vegan chicken burger i got as well so you can choose to get a single or a double so i just got the single but um as you can see a bit of a kind of zinger sort of burger so you can get it as an original flavor or a chili one so a good helping of sauce, lettuce, there's vegan cheese on there. Looking really delicious. So good. So, so good. I've been a bit of a piggy by eating all this myself, but um, I think the burger itself is only about $10. So if you're just chasing a burger and a chips and a drink, it's probably only about $14. So pretty reasonably priced when you compare it to other kind of vegan burger places one place to go check out if you're in sydney and if you're near newtown uh really great taste really great value and you know a great initiative how great would it be if vfc vegan fried chicken was on multiple corners in suburbs around australia rather than your kfc like it'll be such a great option so too if you want that convenience and to have that option as well. So yeah, it's great taste. Hey guys, uh, I'm here today in Cronella. I just checked out Dogma Cafe. So they do a range of vegan options. They're a cafe as well. They do a vegan big breakfast. And they also do a great range of vegan junk food in terms of burgers, nachos, loaded fries. I mean, a great, great range, really delicious food. So, I mean, Cronella is a really good hot spot as well. Like, lovely beach down here, great atmosphere. And Dogba has had uh, vegan options for the last couple of years. So, I went for a, a vegan chicken burger of sorts. So, it's got vegan chicken patty in there 
so it's just crumbed got some veggies in it it's got some fake bacon it's got a hash brown on it as well so a bit of sauce plenty of bacon big uh, chicken patty got some tomatoes and lettuce as well but um, I'm surrounded by seagulls at the moment really tasty there's actually an onion ring in it um, so the actual fake chicken burger has actually got crumbed a bit spicy but you know it's not too bad of a hit but really really good flavors really comes together really nice really getting that uh, junk food hit so a range of loaded fries that they do there look at that plenty of sauce a bit of guacamole so many chips but I've attracted again so many seagulls so I may be eating elsewhere now <laughs> yeah Cronella beautiful spot good food at Dogma um, I don't recommend coming down to the beach because otherwise you're gonna get swarmed by seagulls like I got the loaded fries a drink and a burger it came $30 so pretty good value not too bad so there's another spot to go check out if you're in and around Sydney and looking for some good vegan eats I mean vegan junk food dogma is the place to go hey guys tonight I went down to Mario Brothers Pizza in Crow's Nest um, they've been having a vegan menu for probably the last two maybe three years now they have a great variety of vegan options there so they've got about eight vegan pizzas they've got about eight pastas as well they've got a couple of desserts um some salads i mean it, it's great to have that sort of option so um i just got something simple just kind of got like a garlic sort of pizza with some rocket on top but um yeah let's have a look at it eh maybe a little bit over the top with the rocket but um as you can see it actually does have a bit a nice vegan cheese on top of the base there it's a garlic base just with um, some olive oil as well pretty simple but these pizzas are really delicious let's have a look so a pretty thin sort of pizza crust there which I do enjoy I don't like it too thick but um, there's plenty of rocket as I said <laughs> so good totally worth it if you're in Crow's Nest or Sydney, anywhere around there, Mario Brothers Pizza, so many options. We've got margaritas, they've got um, garlic pizzas as this one is, and a couple other fancy ones with some onions, some olives, uh, sweet potato ones, eggplant one, which is normally pretty good as well, but you know, you can't go past the basics sometimes. So really, really great flavor. There you go, a trip away into Sydney. A couple places to check out if you're in the area. Some of them were a hit and a miss, but you know, overall, some other options for you guys to check out if you're in Sydney. Um, I'm at the Sydney airport now. Um, there aren't a great deal of options there to eat, but um, you sometimes have your cafes that do have some vegan options but uh, my normal go-to if I'm hungry around lunchtime at Sydney or airport is Mad Max grab a burrito or there's sumo salad so today I'm gonna be getting a burrito so I'll show you guys that quickly before I fly off back to Melbourne but um, yeah if you like the video chuck us a like chuck us a comment share it around um, subscribe to the channel if you have any awesome vegan places to go to in Sydney please let me know I'd love to check it out next time I'm around but yeah I really hope you enjoyed the video so here I am in the Virgin domestic uh, terminal as I said there's not many options to eat in here um, a couple cafes I know Hudson's have some vegan options there but um, it's either sumo salad or Mad Max so normally I go Mad Max with the burritos they have about eight different vegan items there so they're always bringing out a couple new bits and pieces that are suitable for vegans so it's good to have an option like that and i find it's really filling as well and there's good flavors if you use the right fillings i mean if you just get the basic burrito with not much um with a mild sauce it's pretty plain but i normally go the medium so a lot more flavor as well you know you get your little 
veggie mix in it as well. You get your rice, your beans, you get some guacamole, the vegan cheese. Um, it's really, really tasty, so let's check it out. So plenty of flavor, as I said, heaps of filling. Um, I normally go with the, the medium or spicy sort of filling, and I feel like that is what adds in a lot more flavor. I feel like the, the mild sauce is just really plain, tasteless, and doesn't really add anything to the burrito at all, but um, yeah, either go, either go medium or spicy if you want, actually some good flavors in it, but you can see the beans in there, the vegan cheese, the rice, the guacamole, tomato, lettuce, really, really jam-packed, really, really flavorsome, and pretty good for $15 as well. Mm -hmm. 